okay hi everyone in this video we are going to discuss about vomiting okay it is a one condition to the infants and the children okay it is a common symptom every disease condition or every infants mainly having a this symptom vomiting okay here uh, what is meant by vomiting many of the infants having vomiting 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 like that the mother will be complaints okay here what is the definition of vomiting now we are going to discuss here vomiting means uh, it is the forceful forceful expulsion of the uh, stomach contains forceful expulsion of the stomach contains through the mouth okay here uh, vomiting is a nothing but it is a one of the uh, symptom here what happens means uh, in the stomach contains uh, the food is there is um, some of the whatever it may be what are the contains what are the fluids or what are the liquids is there in the stomach uh, the stomach contains should be come out uh, okay now by for the regurgitation or the by the vomiting sensation okay the infant should be easily vomited okay through the mouth okay here mm, this is regarding vomiting definition vomiting nothing but forceful expulsion of the stomach contains through the mouth next uh, what are the reasons what are the causes for the vomiting in the infants here uh, two types is there one is the non organic etiological factors next to uh, organic etiological factors non organic etiological factors organic etiological factors here first we are going to discuss about non organic etiological factors here the non organic etiological factors first one is the swallowed amniotic fluid swallowed amniotic fluid what is mean by amniotic fluid amniotic fluid is there in the mother womb or uterus okay for protection of fetus okay in the mother womb in the pregnant mother every pregnant mother having the amniotic fluid in the uterus for protection of their fetus okay sometimes the infant should be swallowing amniotic fluid okay swallowing amniotic fluid or sometimes uh, the mother pregnant mother having some disorders like uh, blood leakage or the bleeding problems okay sometimes the bleeding the blood should be swallowed by the infant okay here due to that the infant may be vomited next one is the another cause faulty feed techniques okay, here faulty feed techniques for example poor feeding techniques okay poor feeding techniques here the mother is going to give some of the feedings to the infant okay here the mother not having the sufficient knowledge on feeding how to give uh, feedings to the infant for example uh, small, a large amount of milk is there okay for example the 1000 ml or the 500 ml of milk is there the milk should be easily giving to the infants at the newborn baby no why because the newborn baby not taking uh, uh, oral fluids sufficient by giving large amount okay as a nurse or the as a mother uh, not having sufficient knowledge how to give uh, feeding to the newborn okay she don't know she is giving excessive amount of feeding to the infant the feeding should be vomited so this is also one reason for the uh, vomiting next uh, excessive crying excessive crying sometimes during feeding or during taking some fluids the infant excessive crying excessive crying means the stomach contain should be come outside okay next one is the overfeeding in this overfeeding excessive excessive fluids taken by the infant the fluid should be stomach full okay now the splinter should be opened okay due to the excessive fluids is there in the or obstructed in the stomach some abnormality conditions due to that sometimes excessive uh, working of the vagus now the infants may be going to get some sensation like vomiting okay the feeding should be come outside this is the one reason next uh, sometimes forced feeding okay the infants avoiding 
fluids or the milk or any fluids the the infant should be avoiding but the mother should be giving forcefully okay he, he is not interested but the mother is going to give uh, forcefully fluids to the infant sometimes the infant unwanted avoiding okay due to that the infant may be excessively uh, having the vomiting next uh, unpleasant odor when we are give, going to give food or the fluids to the infant the fluids or the food not having the sufficient odor okay nothing but bad smell or the unpleasant smell is there in the food means the food should not take in infants okay uh, the infants may be vomiting that next one is the organic causes okay in these organic causes uh, what is their means uh, intra uterine infections in the mother womb or in the uterus the mother having any uterine infections okay due to the infection nothing but it will be caused by the due to the viruses or the due to the bacteria okay the uterus will have the some infections due to that also the uh, fetus may be or infant may be have the uh, vomiting conditions next one is the septicemia okay in this septicemia what happens means blood infection okay next one is the meningitis meningitis means inflammation of the meningeus layer okay here inflammation of the meningeus layer due to the viruses or the bacteria what is mean by meningeus layer meningeus is a one covering layer of the brain and spinal cord okay for protection of brain and spinal cord the meningeus layer is there in the every infants or the every human being okay here due to the viruses or due to the bacteria the meningeus layer should be infected due to that also the infants may be have the one symptom like vomiting okay next one is the congenital anomalies okay here the congenital abnormalities by birth uh, the infant having the some of the abnormalities or the congenital anomalies like uh, uh, stomach uh splinters are not having sufficient function means opening closing when we are giving feeding to the infant the uh, splinter should be open okay after giving feeding after completion of feeding the infant uh, the infant splinter should be closed okay for prevention of back flow okay this is the normal function of splinters sometimes the infants by birth they are having the problems in the splinters of stomach okay due to that also the infants may be vomited okay sometimes uh, one reason like a cleft lip cleft palate okay that problems also the infants may have the vomiting symptom okay next one is the uh, one other reason tonsillitis what is mean by tonsillitis here the tonsillitis is nothing but inflammation of the tonsils inflammation of the tonsils what happens means due to the some of the viruses bacteria the tonsils is a normal structure of the uh, infants in the digestive system here the uh, tonsils should be affected to the viruses and bacterial infection okay next one is the appendicitis appendicitis means it is appendix is a normal anatomical structure of the infants here Uh, the itis means infection due to the viruses or the bacteria the appendix should be have the any infection the infants may have the one symptom like vomiting okay these are the causes regarding vomiting okay here we are discussed you no know, vomiting is the common symptom okay every human being have the one symptom like vomiting any disease condition next to here definition it is one of the forceful expulsion of a stomach contains through the mouth okay in the normal situation when the infant is taking some food some uh, food particles means the food should be easily digested after digestion the waste products like stool that will be excreted in the normal healthy infants but here due to the some abnormalities in the stomach or any digestive system problems okay the infants may have the uh, vomiting symptom this is the definition of vomiting next two causes mainly two types organic causes non organic causes here first two non organic causes one is the swallowing of amniotic fluid or the blood okay amniotic fluid should be swallowing by the infant or the newborn babies or in the fetal stage 
after completion of 9 months sometimes the infant the newborn baby should be uh, swallowed amniotic fluid okay next uh, poor feeding techniques poor feeding techniques the mother not having sufficient knowledge on the feeding techniques that's why the infants may have the vomiting symptom next to excessive cry the infants due to the any emotional stress or the infant what is their simple language they don't know exact problem they are not uh, express okay any problem is there or any smiling or any stomach pain or any vomiting whatever problem is there for hungry also they are crying okay for pain in the body also they are crying okay simply they are having the one language they don't they know only one language that is the crying okay due to the excessive crying the stomach content should become backflow okay this is the one reason next one is the overfeeding or the forced feeding okay the infants is taking excessive feeding or the overfeeding this is also one reason for the vomitings next to unpleasant odor when we are providing food the food should not having the sufficient order or the colorful uh, nature okay the infants may be going to vomit next uh, organic causes here intrauterine infections in the mother having any infections in the uterus that will be spreading to the infant or the fetus the infants may have the vomiting symptom septicemia blood infection or meningitis inflammation of the meningeus layer next one is the uh, uh, congenital anomalies uh, any problems or any obstruction abnormal communication in between the normal body parts uh, like for example esophageal atresia or the any stomach cancer or any problem is there in the stomach by birth the infants may be have the vomiting symptom next to tonsillitis inflammation of the tonsils appendicitis inflammation of the appendix okay these are the reasons for the vomitings okay next